Hi everybody. We'll be starting week nine of social distancing at my place of employment. I've been occupying my time with some projects. Many of you have likely already watched the Ben Eater Simple as Possible Computer Build series on YouTube and my attempt to duplicate the project. I really appreciate the way Ben breaks down the topics into easily digested portions. Recently, Ben began a new series using a 6502 processor, instead of building the processor from scratch this time. Having owned a Commodore 64 and having an interest in machine language programming, I'm familiar with the 6502. I'm more of a Z80-8080 fan, but that is not because of any prejudice. I could have easily been one of those Apple fanboys. I found an improved version of Ben's clock, which uses a 5556, combining two 55 timers on one chip. The potentiometer is the closest I could find and was from a batch of parts I ordered to repair my Thrustmaster joystick. The resistance is a little low, so it only goes down to about 6 Hz. I've got a 1 meg potentiometer on order. I don't have a programmer that works with the electrically erasable programmable read-only memories Ben used, but I do have some 27C256 EEPROMs given to me by a friendly mentor at work. I also have an EEPROM programmer. See my YouTube video where I demonstrate using my Data IO 201. At this point, I've successfully tested Ben's sample program. If you examine the terminal output, you'll see the reset clock cycles, then the processor fetching the start vector of 8000 hex, and finally jumping there and executing no op instructions, EA hex. As you can see, I'm about ready to begin testing the CIA with an LCD display module. I'm also considering building a push button keypad and programming a monitor similar to the old Kim-1 trainers. Stay tuned to see my progress. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can buy me a breakfast bagel by contributing to my project fund at paypal.me forward slash Linhart R22. And as always, thanks for watching.